As we do, it's Doc Lefeer, and welcome back to episode 5 of College Football Revamped, the Kentucky Wildcats Dynasty Mode. In this one, we're going to travel to number 23 ranked South Carolina. We are both 3-1. and one. The only difference is they have a ranked win, and we do not. And I think that is the major difference here. If I can find the top 25 list uh, at any point here. There we go. And then we'll just scroll on down. Florida's right there, 4-0. But if we scroll all the way down here, they picked up a winning as number 21 ranked UCF, and they did it in a pretty good fashion. But uh, we are not receiving votes this time. So let's go slap this team in the mouth. Okay, so South Carolina elected to kick, so that means we are going to receive, and that is not a good start to this football game. Okay, second and 15 here. Got an interesting play drawn up, and that is open. Ooh, if he could have got the block in the first block, that could have been larger than 20 yards, but I have a good feeling about our offense and, and defense today, for that matter. Okay, so here we are in second and seven. Should be a few interesting routes here. And we're just going to keep going with Terry Wilson here, third and one. Never really felt comfortable with a pass there. I mean, we have Chris Rodriguez, so I think this is a no-brainer. Let's just just run it, third and one power. Going to bounce it to the outside, though. Nice gain of eight. A little bit of read option on first down here this time. Perfect, Terry. Just hang on to it. 11 yards, first down. Okay, this isn't quite a play action, but Rose is actually involved. I've actually changed it. Surprised he actually held on to that. Josh Ali, 21 yards. But uh, I've actually changed the running back, how often they're in and out, subbed in and out. Kind of an interestingly designed play, if that's even a phrase. But we'll see what we can come up with here, and that should be a touchdown to Upshaw. Keaton Upshaw gets on the board again. Sneaky touchdown score, Keaton Upshaw is. Sounded like Yoda. Okay, so let's see what South Carolina is made of. They're just going to run it to the outside, and that's going nowhere. Same same play as ours. We had a five-yard loss. They had a four-yard loss. Second and 14. Just going to drop back in coverage. I see there they're throwing it to... I mean, throwing it to nobody, basically. Just obviously going to be deflected. Okay, third and 14. Let's see if we just can't shut this team out. First drive, they're just going to drop it off down low. And that's going to be that. Three-yard reception, nothing doing. They lost a yard on that drive. Okay, let's see what we can do with this drive with the ground game first. Looking solid for Chris Rodriguez so far. It's always interesting when A.J. Rose is a lead blocker here, but then again, we can just hand it off to him. That's always a possibility that they have to consider in that scheme, so... First down. Just going to keep it on the ground again here. Why not? That might have been a horse collar. Got to watch for those. Okay, second and three here. Let's see what they give us. That's wide open. Oliver makes the catch. I mean, it's crucial yardage. Way to think on your feet, Oliver. Third and one here. It looks like they're just going to give us the first down with how we've been running the ball. I mean, look at look at this defensive formation. And we got it. All right, we, so we got crosses in the middle and then a kind of a poster out from uh, Ali there. Let's see what we can get out of this. Oh, he got picked by his own teammate. Did you see that? Huge first down. Watch this. He ran into his own teammate and Oliver just got wide open. I was going to throw it to him regardless of what happened here. But, I mean, look at how much space he had after that. Okay, so this could be a touchdown if the defense is not careful here. Now he tries to buy some time. Rig! I think he's in. I don't know if they're going to review that. It's close. It was darn close. It, I guess they're sticking with it. 
That is probably barely a touchdown. <laughs> I saw him kind of slightly open. I was like, hey, I'll throw it. Okay, first and 10 for them right here. And they're going to get a first down off of it. Shaw Smith. Empty backfield. Interesting. I mean, nobody's really open. They're just going to have to drop this off to the flat and get hit. Okay, shotgun formation here. They are all about the passing so far. They're just going to dump it off again. This time they're going to get the first down from it. They line up in shotgun again. This time it's going to be a run. Just trying to get over there and slow it down. That's, we did the best we could there. We're going to kind of gamble with a blitz here. I didn't even realize they're going to line up in I formation, but gambling with a blitz here and it pays off a little bit. Third and one. All right, let's see what the Gamecocks are made of. You know what we're doing. I don't have to tell you. I mean, we took the best angle we could, but it's a touchdown nonetheless. I mean, just everything was perfect there. Here's Tisdale. He's going to break one to the outside. It's a pretty nice return. Okay, so here we are to start this drive. And I'm just gonna, mmm, I thought he's about to escape it and loop around and gain a few yards. Okay, so we got a lot, a lot of action going to the right side of the field here. That is just badly thrown. I mean, surely I thought on that route, it was going to be shorter thrown than that to the left. We got to be more careful. And would you look at that? This might be a pick six. Maybe. He's getting chased. Get out of my way. Well, teammate wouldn't get out of my way, but either way. You throw a pick. I throw a pick. We throw picks. You throw a pick. That's how this works. Now, I suppose Terry is forgiven for that because we gained yardage out of that. So we'll take it. Sure. Might go an interception on his record, but puts us in good field position. Second inches. And barely swerved out of the way of that to get the first down. This time on second and seven, Rose is in the game. He's got some speed to him, so we'll see if he can break it to the outside. And it. Looks like he can. I didn't think he could do it. We're going to run it again. I'm kind of playing for a fourth down here. We've been running the ball pretty well. If we can pick up two yards, it'll give me more confidence to go for it on fourth down for sure. That, however, is not confidence at all. So as I said, we have confidence on our offense and confidence in our defense here. So, And would you look at that. On cue, sack for five yards. I formation here, just in case. We're just going to go in for a run and nice one-on-one -on -one tackle. Gain of four, third and 11. Okay, let's see if we can stop them on third and 11 so they punt the football over to us. What's he see? What's he got? Nothing. Sack for eight yards. Coverage sack on the play. Okay, so first and 10 fresh off of that. I see him underneath. That's all we had, I think. Second and three here. Upshaw is the lead blocker, and I think we're going to throw the football again. But then they back off, so I don't know. Let's just... And, but then they come again. So let's see. Upshaw under the middle, and then everyone else on a slant. Let's see if they go for it. That's just nonsense. Where am I supposed to go with the football right there? I mean... I want to see this. I mean... I mean, I guess circle, but at the same time, that could have been picked from the same angle. So I don't know if that's on the receiver for not getting separation or not, but that's another turnover regardless. They're in I formation again. I just completely bid on that, but okay, thrown behind them. They go right back to that I formation. Man in motion here. This time it is a run. And it's not going much of anywhere. Third and eight, another stop would be huge here. Over the middle, and that is perfectly played and tipped. 
So despite Terry Wilson throwing two interceptions, I still feel like he's been extremely accurate with the football, which is strange. Gain of five here. We got plenty of time to work with. Second and five. That is wide open. I mean, that's as wide open as wide open can be. Second and nine. I just looked. Terry's only two missed throws are his interceptions. So other than that, he's been spot on accurate. Upshaw going to break a tackle and get the first down. Okay, new set of downs for us. Fit that right in there. Another first down on the play. We're letting the clock tick down just a hair here. Nothing wrong with that. Soft zone. They're going to let us have that. After this, we might start thinking about calling a timeout. That's open. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and call it. See, Terry's 13 of 15. I mean, he's, he's slinging it out here. He feels good. But those two picks. And there's Chris Rodriguez in the first and goal. We're going to kind of spread it out here. They think we're probably going to pass this since that's what we've been doing this whole time. But in reality, it's going to be a run with Chris Rodriguez all day, every day. That was a perfect drive to perfect response after throwing that interception by Terry Wilson. Okay, so South Carolina gets the ball to start here. And it looks like they're going back to the air. They might have to after being down by this much to start the second half. Okay, they got a dual back look here on third and ten. I'm not going to think any anything of it or much of it. I mean, obviously they're going to be on passing routes here, and that is just out of reach. That's going to be a first down by Xavier Leggett. Back to an eye formation here. We're gonna go with play action. I got I read that, but it's still gonna be a first down no matter what. Again with the eye formation, and that was not my man, but still first down. Okay, I was gonna send pressure regardless, and it looks like. They jumped offside. So they did jump offside. We're still going to send some heat here because I don't see why not. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's exactly why not. Just throw it in the stands. I'm just going to go ahead and line up with this guy. He's been torching us this drive. We'll see what they decide to do with him. He's going to take off Hill, that is, and not get anything. I'm going to use myself as kind of a spy slash free roamer. That's what I like to do with square. Uh, and that's going to be a, just an open touchdown. Xavier Leggett. Playing too soft over there. So South Carolina definitely needed that drive to make things a 10-point game. But let's see how we respond. Rodriguez off to a good start. Second and five. He is open. I see him. Just have to wait for him. Just had to wait that one out. Josh Ali. I knew eventually he'd spring open from that guy playing zone in the middle. Just barely able to get it away. Fresh set of downs here. Let's see what we can get off of this. Just follow that lead blocker. Kind of got in his way. I figured... I guess that's the downside of doing that. And that should be open. Perfect. Again, just that's the good thing about curls, too. As dangerous as they can be sometimes, if it's there and open, it's a first down most of the time. Okay, we're going to hit him with a little bit of play action here. A lot going on on the right side of the field. And just a Oliver wide open in the middle of the field. First and ten. We can get a first down here without getting a touchdown. I always oddly prefer the ball at like the 12 or 13 yard line with a couple set of downs and actually having a first and goal at the 10. Just me personally. And that's back of the end zone. And that's a touchdown for Bryce Oliver. Keeping us alive on this drive. Terry Wilson is throwing dots. Make it three passes for touchdowns. 
Takes the hit and still delivers. Alright, they need this drive again. Let's just keep making them need drives. Or we can just shut them down this time. That'll work too. It's always something that we can do over the middle. He actually found him. Coverage was was good, just not good enough for uh, pressure to be brought to the quarterback. Shotgun formation, everything on the right side of the field. That normally means a run to the left. Gotcha. Oh, he's just going to break on through. He just keeps going. We're just going to put an end to this run attack right here, right now, if I, if I can help it. And look at how many white jerseys are on top of him right there. See what they come up with on second and nine, man, in motion. Just going to stick with him. Toss to the flat for a few yards. Nobody in the backfield here. It's always something. I'm watching the flat. He could have ran for it, but he finally found the guy. Just There's a flag. I wonder what this could be. Illegal, is this illegal touching? Yes, it's illegal touching. Very odd where you're going to accept that penalty. And they're going to have to settle for a field goal. And look at this. He's out to the left side of the field, and this is going to be an absolutely terrific return by Travis Tisdell. I'm going to go with a play action immediately here, catch him a little bit off guard. And Terry Wilson has nowhere to go. A second and 17. I feel like we basically have to pass the football if we want to try to keep the pressure on and getting a first down. <sighs> Nothing about that was good. It looked open when I threw it. How I angled the ball and threw it seemed good. It just went straight instead of to the right, I think, is the major difference there. So Terry Wilson's three incompletions are all interceptions. New set of downs. Just going to hit the flat. Should be five. They really love eye formation on second down, so we're just going to send the house here. It's not as bad as what it could have been. Playing some man here for the most part. Nowhere to go. He's got a man, though, and that's a touchdown. I wanted to see a little bit better defense than that, to be honest with you. That's just, that's just open. Throwing off his back foot, too. That's disgusting. Okay, we're actually going to throw the ball here. I still have trust. I still have trust in Terry. He's been throwing it really well. We're about to go into the fourth quarter. Okay, third and three here. I feel like we have to pass the ball. Running got stopped on second down, so we'll see. Rig over the middle. Just hang on to it, big boy. Barely got the first down. First and ten, keeping on the ground. Nice gain of six. Just a standard stick play. They're giving, they're giving us a lot of space to run the ball, and I really want to, but that's open. Buddy dropped it. So we're just going to run the same exact play, and I'm going to go right back to Rig because I have faith in this man. But Terry Wilson's throw was a little bit inaccurate, wasn't it? Okay, so now here's South Carolina with a chance to tie the game or take the lead if they choose, if they score, I suppose. But I really don't plan on letting them do that, so stop them right here, right now. Just going to go with a man defense here. And I was about to say, please tackle him. Third and one. Okay, I'm not believing this. This is going to be like a crash blitz here. And it looks like they are going to throw the ball. And that is dangerous. That's a dangerous pass. Still a first down. We are going to bring the heat on first down here. And they're just going to drop it off under the middle. A fresh set of downs, a man in motion. They always put that guy in motion, it seems like. And he's immediately tackled. Eye formation again on second and six. This is what they love to do. Just going to drop it down low again. They had a man in the middle because I was controlling the safety there and left it open. So we're going to bring a little bit of pressure here. But mainly it's just going to be a man defense with Corker guarding the back here. That is open. Muse is 
Pretty hard to guard, it looks like, one-on-one. -on -one. They are in shotgun here. I'm actually just going to drop Pascal back in coverage, I believe. He is capable. That is a screen play, and that was well executed. I was not thinking a screen play was going to happen there whatsoever. Just like that, it's a tie football game, but we have the ball at three minutes to go. So I think we might have the advantage here if we do not cough it up, if we do not make any rash decisions. Second and inches. This seems like an easy run situation to me. This is not the time to be cute. This is the time to just business football. Okay, we got some curl routes here. Definitely just going to hit my shorter options if it's there, and Daly Jr. is there. I think that's one of his first receptions of the game, actually. Second. So he's not been that involved out of the slot. I'm going to first and ten here. Got some lead blockers. They are not stopping the run. Okay, we're going to throw the ball here on second and one. That is wide open over the middle. And that's Daly Jr. again out of the slot. Another first down. Clock's just ticking away. That's what we like to see. And A.J. Rose getting involved this time with five yards. We're just going to let the play clock tick down. And here is A.J. Rose again, this time all the way to the four. He does have more speed than Chris Rodriguez, which is being utilized right now for sure. First and goal here. We're going to give it to Rose on a counter. Nothing going. I don't... I'm going to let this clock keep ticking, by the way. They're going to have to call a timeout. They do not elect to call any timeouts, so we're just going to let this clock keep going down, and hopefully we get that off, and we do, just in time. That was perfect. And I think we're going to call one right here. That way we have a play. Okay, so Rose is still in the game here, third and goal. I'm just going to give it to him. I wonder if... I was going to say, I wonder if they're just going to let us score, but that's about as easy as a field goal as you can ask for. Clock's ticking down. We're just going to call it four seconds because I was afraid this game was going to screw me over, to be honest. It's the easiest field goal you can ask for. It's up and it's straight down the middle. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to squib kick this pretty hard. I think that's the best decision. Because that will just milk the clock as long as we can get a tackle. And that is game over. We go into South Carolina and we knock off the Gamecocks. Hopefully, top 25 poll see us as a, a ranked team now. But it feels good to get that one back in the win column there after the Florida game. Everything's behind us now, just going week to week. Okay, so now to player stats. Terry Wilson, 22 of 26. If you just don't look at the INT portion of your screen, that is a very good game from Terry Wilson. <laughs> so there's that. South Carolina's quarterback, 24 of 30, 255 and 3. Rushing, kind of, they didn't really run the ball, but they averaged 7.7 .7 with Kevin Harris, but they did get behind early, mind you. Rodriguez with 100. Rose, the closer, had 29 on the ground as well. Wilson with a little bit. Uh, Justin Rigg with a pretty good day, as well as Oliver. Everyone kind of getting involved. But Chris Rodriguez actually going in the negative today. It's kind of odd to see, but they're tied in. Nick Muse getting involved as well. And everyone else just, you know, here and there. Okay, so both our defensive coordinator and offensive coordinators have upgrades after that. So we're just going to go with charge. I like to have a good pass rush. Gain some more in that department as well. And then we're just going to really, really, really stress the fact of ball security for this next game. And you'll see why very shortly. Okay, so now we're taking a look at the recruiting board after going through some uh, scouting and whatnot. I still haven't found a good quarterback that I want to sign. I'm going to try to look for people that don't have a whole lot of interest a little bit later into the season but so far I haven't found anyone near 70 overall that's really what I'm aiming for in most of my recruits here but we'll let you know when something's there when it comes to the halfback position Eric Hughes and Kenny Bowie are both 
in the lead for us, and I don't even think we need to pursue them with this many points. They are heavily scouted already, the 75%. They are way better than what they initially looked like, and they could be just as good as Brian Gay. So I think, I mean, we even have, I mean, depend, depending on who comes back next season, we, we could have a quad-headed attack here for sure. Uh, fullback still nobody. Corey Bell looks like he's a solid wide receiver at this point, as you can see. But Gary Smith, we have the lead on him, but I'm not going to pursue him because we don't really need to, to fill the wide, re wide receiver position. I think we only need one, if we even need one. But there's that. And then we have tied in Jay Harris looking a lot better than what he should be. Plus five overall after scouting. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think we needed... I can't even remember the other guy's name that we were scouting, to be honest with you, but it doesn't look like we need him either. For tackles, this is something I want to double up on. I'd like to get both of these guys because you can change tackles and guards and centers around. We all know this. But go to scouting plus three, and even Jimmy Walker, an 80. I mean, if we can just get an 80 overall lineman, I don't care if he's a junior. What What's that going to matter? Junior, senior, whatever. Regardless, Kirk Wall does not look as good as he should be, but we're going to go heavy after Austin Brooks after this. Scouted, plus five. I can't imagine he goes down much more. Those are some good-looking stats for a guard, even if he is Juco. Say it once, say it again. Center, Dallas Houston. Couldn't find another center. That's why we're going after guards and tackles. Defensive end, it's pretty much just Chris Martinez at this point. I mean, we scouted him 100%. These other guys were just scouting to see if they're, they're better than Chris, but it doesn't seem that way. Defensive tackle, Danny Harris, we're still scouting him, but it looks looks to be hovering around 70. Outside linebacker, Jamal Flynn is an absolute stud. Again, a Juco player, but literally just about everything in the 80s that you need to be in the 80s for that position. And... Move on to middle linebacker here, Derek West. Looking a little bit and a little bit and a little bit better every single time we scout this guy. So hopefully he can get to a 70. For corner, this is the interesting part. After doing some scouting, Champ Ross looks to be a little bit faster and a little bit better than Jeremy Turner. Despite the height difference, one inch difference. And then we go to free safety. This is someone I'm just going to go ahead and tell you I'm going to get rid of right now. I don't see why we'd put points into him. Shane Blankenship, I'm kind of scouting, but it doesn't seem like someone that would fit for us at the moment. When it comes to strong safety, found out recently that Jonathan Bennett is a little bit better than what we originally thought. And we, we're in a really, really tight race with Georgia right now. And we've got the lead. Well, we got the lead on Matt Roberts, just in case we need him as a backup option here. For our kickers, Eric Jackson looks to be solid so far. Kicking accuracy, 79. Kick power is a B, so we'll see what that can what that can be as well. But again, we have Ben if we need him. Ohio State's making a comeback though. Punter, Whitehead doesn't look as good as he should. I'll say that much. And, I don't know, it's a real decision here. I think we're going to take, take some points out of Wadhead while I'm here. And let's go to Athlete, and let's actually scout Mike Morris and Seth King here. Do some live scouting. I don't normally like to do this, but, you know, a little bit better than what you think. And then Seth King, a little bit worse than what we originally thought. So, I'll use these points how I see fit, the remaining points, that is. But I just wanted to give you an overview of everyone on the board here and then the moment everyone's been waiting for this is the covid schedule by the way we are going to play number one ranked alabama because why would you have it any other way but to be fair we are finally ranked in the top 25 polls but we have alabama five and oh just dominating teams florida now in fourth they overtook oregon michigan and whatnot and there we are at 25. I think that's well-deserved. Our defense looking pretty good in terms of overall. Our offense was clicking there. 
I think we have a chance. It's it's going to require a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and a lot of focus. But I think we have a chance. But it comes with protecting the football first. But that'll do it for me in this one. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day.